they are literally as equal, if not better quality um, for half the cost. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan Ross and today we're gonna to be reviewing this rotary tool. This is the rotary tool by Debstech. Uh, this is the DM180 model. And uh, yeah, Debstech went ahead and just sent this over so we can unbox and review it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. As you can see, it comes in a nice hard case. That is always good to have. I like hard cases, especially if you're gonna store it away somewhere. Um, this also comes with instructions right here. And then the tool itself, and then you guys have like a little extra little kit here. And you got a little protection glass piece that goes around. And then this is just an extension piece and the tool itself. So this is variable speed. Um, so this has settings from one to, I believe, what, six? So I think this is, if not mistaken, 40,000 RPM on full speed from 10 to 12,000 to 38 to 40,000 on max. This thing just feels like it has power, to be completely honest with you. But yeah, they, um, this ranges from 12 to, or 10 to 12,000, which is in the lowest setting RPMs, and then upwards to 38 to 40,000 RPMs. So it's a heavy duty guy, it's not playing around. So like I said, the thing that really interests me about this is not the device itself, but actually the price. Um, I have a Dremel here, and I bought this Dremel years ago, and it's, it's, I've put it through its paces and it still runs. The, the, the chuck here is kind of stripped with tightening or untightening it. So that's a problem, like that little button that you press right here to unlock it. Um, that's pretty stripped. Still works, but honestly, I was looking at getting another one. And so Debstech, thank you for sending this out. This is awesome. This thing is compared to this guy. This guy, this Dremel, and this has to be five, six years old. And at the time why I bought this is simply because it was the only thing around. There wasn't a lot of these other competitors, companies out there. And I wasn't really a big person on Amazon at the moment. But now that all these companies are coming out with reasonable priced machines, these are going to go obsolete, man. This was like $80 and it came with barely any of this stuff. It literally was just a tool. It was like 80 bucks. This guy right here. This, this kit is $39.99, guys. And I'm telling you, like, all of this stuff, I had to buy separately when I bought the Dremel. And you're getting a hell of a deal right here. All of this stuff. And then you got this extension piece. I don't know how good this is gonna be. I'm very curious how long this is gonna last, because I know these can't be, these can't be too good. This coil in here, that, metal rod that, that's probably going to get put through its paces but you hook this bad boy up to here and then you have an extension arm to work like with a pencil to get into really fine places or you want to do some hand carving stuff like that so far just feeling this thing it, it doesn't feel cheap that's the thing i thought it was going to feel cheap for the price um but honestly it feels no different from the Dremel that's twice ex twice as, as expensive and uh, you didn't get any of this stuff. So right now, so far, it is a steal. Comes with this little, I don't know if this is supposed to be, it's probably just a hook when you hang it up on the, on the wall. So that's cool. Um, and then this, this chuck here is definitely bigger than a Dremel's chuck so it looks like you can actually use your fingers to untwist this which is pretty nice because the other one you have to have that wrench I mean I don't think I see a wrench it comes with one no maybe in here oh yeah it comes with a little wrench tool in here um, but the, the Dremel one is so small which was kind of annoying but yeah let's let's uh let's plug her in super low setting two Okay, it's not that loud. Three, four, five, 
six. Yeah, dude, this thing. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't say this enough. This just feels good. Um, I, like I said, the quality just feels like it's there. Um, the materials that they, they seem to use seems robust. Um, yeah, so let's jump in this little toolkit here. So your extension here, and then we got uh, a whole bunch of stuff in here. So we got a different, what's this? I've never seen anything like this. Is this a different chuck? Oh yeah, this is for using your hand. That's pretty cool. Bigger chuck. You got different, different adapters for different sizes. If you're using a drill bit or whatever the case is. So you get a, a bunch of different, those heads. You get a cutting wheel, a couple of them. Um, I don't know what's in here. The sandpaper. Okay, yeah, a little sanding disc. I never, I'd be honest with you, I've always wondered how you're supposed to use this because they're just so, they're thin. They're like a piece of paper. What I mean, are you supposed to put it against something? Am I, I you guys comment, comment below in the video. Um, tell me what these are used for. I don't know, I've never had a use for these because they fall apart once I hook them up. So, Please, I feel stupid. I mean, I guess I could look it up myself, but uh, yeah, let me know what these like paper, sandpaper pieces are for. They have a little hole. You're supposed to look it up. They rip apart instantly. So, I think I'm doing something wrong. Let me know in the comments. Um, then you got some more polishing wheels. If you guys do a lot of polishing, I have a ton of these. I have a whole bag of these, so I'm very familiar with these. But I don't have these tiny ones. I use these uh, repolish my rings and just jewelry for my wife, um, stuff like that. These bad boys are um, like ceramic-ish. I don't know, these can cut glass and stuff, etched glass or steel if you want. And then you got these like, I think that's the cut glass too or ceramic. And it looks like a diamond plated cutoff wheel here. Then you got your brush wheels, drill bits, and then you got wrenches. So a standard, I mean a, a large, but standard, you know, kit that comes with all the different accessories that you would need. Um, oh, talking about this accessories, you guys want to stay tuned for the next video because they went ahead and sent me their big pack of parts and accessories for this bad boy. So stay tuned for the next video. It's gonna be a good one. But in this video, we're gonna be just sticking to the DM180 by Debstex Rotary Tool. So then you got these bad boys, which are gonna be your, just your cylinder, uh, different grade sandpaper. So, and then you got these Okay, these are actually hard. I also had these little guys. These are like your cutoff wheels um, that were like made out of paper too. And I was confused how to use them because they kept just falling apart. So I was like, ah, but this is cool. You get a whole, dude, you got like, what is this, 30 of the, these little guys? That's pretty sweet. And this is all for $39.99, guys, on Amazon. Check them out on Amazon. The link will be in the description below. You go ahead and check them out. You can check out all the other accessories they have and tools too. I, I don't know. They might have a couple different uh, things going on. So like I said, link in the description, check it out. I'm gonna go back to the Dremel I have. This thing was $80 five, six years ago. The materials they use are the same materials the depth stack is using. It feels quality. doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. It's that hard hard plastic i don't i don't know like poly polymers whatever mixed with a, like a, a rubber latex material too feels good colors look good it, it looks great doesn't got i like how it's a even even girth versus this 
wompiness right here. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to go for. It is, this one is heavier than this, obviously. Um, so just comparison though, I'll uh, fire this one up to just give you guys a hearsay. I'll go full speed. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. This does have a polishing wheel on it, so that might make it sound a little louder than it is. Oh, and that one, oh, another thing I'm finding out with the, the Dremel, this actually has an on and off switch. That's nice. This doesn't, this just has your, your um, dial and it turns on or off by using this dial. This, you actually have a secondary off switch. So you turn that bad boy on and then you have this. That's pretty nice. So one. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Protecting shield, so if you guys don't want any spray back with stuff. Boom. That goes on there, protects you, just a little shield. So one thing I wanted to talk about quick, if I can say this right, is um, now nowadays a lot of tools are coming out like companies like Depstech, where they're giving you as much bang for your buck as you could possibly get. Um, and that's very important. Little, even five years ago, it was a struggle with tools. I feel like they weren't good. They were all, the cheap ones were cheap. You know what I mean? Like the, 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 the ones that were $20, $40 in cost for, of a tool, they really felt like a $20 or $40. They were just flimsy. But these tools, like Deb's Tech, with this rotary tool, for half the price of a Dremel, they are literally as equal, if not better quality, um, for half the cost. So in today's world, why would you want to spend that much when you can get like this with this whole accessory kit that you get in here for half the cost? Doesn't make any sense. So. What you want to what you want to figure out, and, and of course, if you like big brand store, you know brands. Dremel, Dremel's not a. First of all, let's get it straight. Rotary tools are called rotary tools. They're not called Dremels. That's just a branding. They got their branding down to a T. Kleenex is not called Kleenex, people. It's a tissue. Q-tips are not called Q-tips. They're called mouth swabs or whatever the case is. What I'm trying to get at is. Call it a rotary tool, it's not called a Dremel, unless you actually have a Dremel. This is a rotary tool. But the important thing is, um, what I wanna talk about is with with these tools, you, you're spending a bunch of money on it. If you're a big person or have a lot of money and you can spend it on the nicer tools or big brand named tools, go ahead, spend your money on that. But I'm the type of guy that looks for you know bang for buck and uh, right now I'm getting this in this package. Um, I can't tell you how I, have, I haven't I have used it for a long time, so I don't know the reliability on it, but I, I've seen some good reviews on it. And another thing is, um, let's just give you a scenario here. Like if you're gonna be running this every other day or once in a blue moon, why do you, why do you need something that costs so expensive? You know what I mean? Like, what, why, if you're gonna use it once in a blue moon, get something that you, you're you gonna spend a couple dollars on and save your money. That, that makes no sense to me. Um, and then in the, in the long term too, if you're gonna use something like this that's more expensive, every single day, day after day, you're gonna burn this damn thing out. So why wouldn't you go with a cheaper one that is just as reliable can get all of the work done as this could. And um, why wouldn't you, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna burn it out, you're gonna know you're gonna burn it out, you're gonna beat the shit out of it, you're gonna throw it to the ground and, and do all that. Why would you spend the extra money and, and or why would you, you wanna save the extra money and just go with a, a cheaper brand? And you get this big accessory kit. It makes no sense to me to some people. I get, I get if you're 
a person that likes DeWalt or Milwaukee or, you know, those companies, just because you keep in the same battery system, that's kind of nice. But if you're like with tools that are plug in to the wall, why, why go with a more expensive one? I'm sorry, I just, I don't see it. Especially nowadays with all of these companies coming out that are so competitive in price and quality. So that's the review for Deb's Tech DM180 Rotary Tool. If you guys find this video helpful, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and share. It would really help you guys out and I would really, really appreciate it. And uh, guys, next week, stay tuned for, uh, we got Deb's Tech 420 piece kit. It's accessories for the DM180 Rotary Tool. You guys, need to check this out and I'm finding out guys this rotary tool the DM1 180 and this 420 piece accessory kit it's a bundle on Amazon for only $59.99 guys I can't tell you this enough 60 bucks you get this and this was $80 just the tool itself so I'm telling you guys this is garbage nowadays you're gonna want one of these. It is the same quality, if not better. So stay tuned for the next video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.